So Izzy. Yes, I'm. Do in most of the playthroughs that you've watched, do they do people normally do the oh. the kill route first? Yes, because that is technically the the true route. Yeah. Uh, the opposite route is a technical. It ends in a um, sand spike. <gasps> I see. Mm. So I think I remember this. Like I think I watched Charlie do the sands fight then. Where the fuck is this? Uh, this is the beginning of the game. Oh. Oh, right. Oh no, wait. I don't fucking remember. Kill. Uh huh. Ah. Pleasure. Um, is everyone gonna wanna go? <laughs> Do we get to kill the ATM? That's the thing. I guess you might as well start from the start, huh? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Riley, you don't need to go through all of them like that. Oh, I thought that was a joke. <laughs> uh, I wonder if this is like all there is. Uh, every day is just the same. It feels like I've accomplished everything I want to do. What remains just doesn't excite me. It's just a grind. Live by the paycheck, you know? Uh, don't act hostile or I'll have the guards kick you out. Uh-huh. Hey, I'm serious. Oh. Shit. Murder. The other murder. way. Murder. 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 I like the murder. Oh. You're gonna have to kill oh, Zig and everything. Wow. Not, not little... Murder dance, like murder dance. You have to kill Rasta Beast, dude. Mm hmm. No! You have to kill Flan. Hey there, Dolphins. The DM floor is. I keep just doing the same voice. Uh, has been quite empty lately. I suppose some might be intimidated by you. You know, w w with all the killing. <laughs> Wait, do you need. Sorry, we're out of drink. I keep forgetting. There is no escape from you. I will always wondered. I always wondered if I was truly conscious. I might finally get some. Oh. <laughs> hey, you didn't look at that, did you? <laughs> get lost. He's you know what? Fuck fight. you. You want to fight, huh? You act tough, but I've never seen you throw any punches. <sighs> this time, I'll teach you a lesson. Oh. I didn't have any arms last time. Or one arm. There's no point to catching the stuff, is there? What well, do you mean? Have... Oh, I have to. Yeah. yeah. You right. have to to kill him, and you have to do it in a time limit. This is actually... You have to do it by the end of the song. Huh. If you don't, you have to completely restart. This is actually a really fun way to use the same um, content, but like in a different context. You know? Wow, he's got a big health bar. Mm-hmm. You can't be afraid to step in the way of stuff. <laughs> you have to grab some punches to throw some punches. Yeah. So what what happens if he doesn't get it in time? You have to completely restart from the beginning. Oh, okay. So it wastes time. Got it. Well, I was... The... Uh, I kind of thought maybe they were going to, like, run away or something. There's one fight that does that's the one with the key. Ah. Huh. Wait, hold on. Are you gonna? Is he gonna have to do the drug trip? Uh, uh, the, 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 I don't know, cause the drug trip was like a uh, fucking like. So you, the that mushroom specifically gives you a choice. You can choose to just straight up kill it, or you can um, do a uh, fight. So you, go, you can choose right. to completely skip the drug fight again. Huh. Oh, the drug trip again. Get blasted, did he? Does he have to be in the middle to kill? No, I no. don't. I... He's, he's just relying on um, what's easy for him. Mm. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it's just like, it's habit. Yar. <laughs> 
So what have we learned about the game? <laughs> uh, I've you... learned that it's kill or be killed. <laughs> oh my god. Kill. Um, surprised you... I think it's very clever. Yeah. I think I died. That's what I learned. Yep. Yeah, yeah it's nice. Because so basically, everyone or like here was he were humans, and now and they're like put themselves in this world where they're immortal, and most of them have forgotten shit. Yeah. And Which some is... of them feels like it's just kind of like an endless torment. Mhm. Mm There's a bit more information to find. Um, I believe it's in Orange's lab. It's somewhere. There's more information about it, but, um... Well, there was clearly more more. people who wanted to stop you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Zig's one of them. Yeah. And the mages don't want it. They they feel powerful in this world. Why would they want to mm. stop being powerful? Yeah, I'm guessing they're probably like one of the original people. Are, so, I mean, this, they said there were, like, a bunch of them. Did people just get, like, condensed down into one character, like an archetype or something? Um, no. So, did you cash on to anything Purple, Gold Pig, and Green were saying? Uh, I mean, that was before I vaguely knew the context, so I guess no. <laughs> they were saying again. Ah. Loop this is strategy. happening again. So then... Uh. So, um, I don't know if you noticed in like, I mean, obviously they were just like, oh, pink is gone. Right. If in a place of immortality, what has been the only way that people are dying? Uh, when red kills them? <laughs> So, like, Red killed Pink for realsies one time? Supposedly. Yeah. Um, I don't know. There's also images of, like, in Brown Mage's hideout, as well as very early on in the Cursed Castle, there's a picture of a gray hat. Uh. That's probably another mage that perished because of this whole thing. Oh shit, phase two? I mean, phase three? We don't know how many times this has happened. Yeah. So, more than likely you're right. Where did everyone go? More than likely they've died because of this whole thing, and then a uh, red gets stopped. Hmm. Strange. What a big ass hell. What if, like, part. every time you die in a game, there's, like, a, another loop that ends, and then it starts in the back again? Where <laughs> another loop game. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you probably couldn't shoot through that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, my legs. His leggies. Leggings. Give me your sunglasses so I can throw them at you. I I do really like games that like um like, I don't know. To a certain extent, of course, meta can be a little bit annoying sometimes if it's, like, overdone. Mm -hmm. But I guess I just haven't played a game where it's been very meta like this in a bit. Like, I think you can get burnt out on the concept of, like, yes, the people in this thing know that they're in a game or something. Uh... Um, they which, don't know they're in a game, they just think they're in another dimension. I mean, there's obviously the cases of, like, random fourth wall breaks, like, in Brown Mage's place, but... Yeah. I guess I don't know... Meta's not the right word for it, then, but, like... They understand... Eh. I guess I don't know what I mean. <laughs> I think I understand. I'm trying to think of the world word right now. Like... You're in a position of power that you don't understand yet in the game world. Mm -hmm. Um. Fuck. I mean, obviously, yeah, there was events prior to the game that you are not aware of unless someone says something about it. 
Mm -hmm. Like your character has a history you're completely unaware of until like halfway through the game. Um, I guess I also just really like in games when you like understand the scope of, of the game better now because like I was kind of like, what, what the fuck happens after you get all the doors, you know? Yeah. Um, and like, how, how big is this game? But like, it's not an artificial growth, but I appreciate that they're like revisiting with, with a new story context and uh, it's still two new mechanics. Yeah. I think it's very interesting and fun because that's kind of what they do. It, it has Undertale vibes in the way that you're replaying things in a different context, like Genocide versus Path of Pacifist versus mm -hmm. Neutral, which, I mean, we've talked about how the internet sort of ruined the neutral route of a lot of people's things, but... Yeah. That's okay. Because, like, people just know, like, by, oh, you're supposed to do Pacifist, and, like, people mm -hmm. tell them to be fully Pacifist during the entire run. Yeah, like did it something happen during your guys's the Undertale playthrough? Mm-hmm. Oh. I don't think anything happened during our Undertale playthrough. I think we just knew the play for like passive from the start. It was it was like influential enough on the internet that it was there was no like not seeing it, you know? Yeah. I feel like Undertale's biggest trick, you know, only worked for the first like a hundred people who played it. Yeah, because once it became popular, you know, it was like it was like almost no way to know that you weren't supposed to like kill anything unless you like can truly like somehow manage to stay like completely blind on the game. I think it's honestly a really interesting concept. Um, that like a response, a, a game's like very good response could like not ruin it, but like diminish a certain aspect of the original intended game design. Yeah. Um, which I guess they sort of got around on this one. Which, I mean, I don't know. Me, none of us looked anything up about the game, but. Yeah. I guess it's probably because this game's not as well known as Undertale. Mm -hmm. Because people think of it as a Undertale clone. Ah, I see. Unfortunately. It's like two different completely things. Yeah. Keep thinking I can dodge that way. So if fuck, this is actually it's a fun mechanic too because it, it like it's kind of like Delta Rune in that you need to get close to the projectile, so you're not like taking the safest option. You're making it interesting by getting close. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God, I love Delta Rune. Yeah, Delta Rune's so fucking good. I can't wait until we get oh, more stuff. I didn't realize you put him back on last time. I still gotta watch you guys play through it. <laughs> you do, cause then you're gonna, you need to get caught up fully and... Yeah, when, when chapter 3 and 4 come out, then that's where I, or get a release date, that's when Dot has a deadline. I don't know if there's yeah. gonna be like a release date, I think they're just gonna get like, dropped and Toby's gonna be like, okay, here you go, pay for it. Yeah, cause... <laughs> It pretty much just always just kind of just dropped it out of the blue, especially like the f chapter one Damn. was just literally so out of nowhere. <gasps> Devastating. One I more attempt. Yeah. Yeah, one more attempt. Um. Well, at that point, it's just like, are we? I imagine we'll maybe finish what we're working on at that, like working through at that point. Um, or maybe not. I don't know. I could probably finish it in a couple days. Mm -hmm. I fucking it's sooner not, the better. Yeah, it's a short series. Yeah, so. I've already or fucking you can just play it. Yeah, that's a true. Good fucking day. Yeah. Um, I've already mapped out how long I have until I'm caught up with One Piece. I, I imagine I could do pretty similar for <laughs> for that series. It's like twenty five days worth. Zig is a bitch. Zig is a bitch. Zig is a bitch. Zig is push over a bitch. Push okay. over a bitch? I don't know, Zig's kind of kicking your ass. ass. Kind of your I'm giving myself confidence, okay? Yeah. It's like the uh, 
It's like the fight is relatively the same, except for like, um, when you get to like, the, se the, the second half of the, that's changed. Yeah, it was like, I don't remember him saying anything before. Yeah. Well, he did, he was just like, uh, get ready for my red marathon, red death mar marathon. Oh, right, and then Riley talked shit about it not, uh, being as difficult to dodge. <laughs> I think it's easy to dodge, it's hard to grab. No, yeah, yeah. Because you have to grab and immediately dodge out of the way. Mm-hmm. That, that'd be the most frustrating thing for me, is when they throw... I want to throw out the move and not think about it. <laughs> and the like colors, the, too. Yeah, like, I guess um, it has to be the same color. That's gonna make some of these, like, real hard. Fuck, I kinda feel like, uh, Gold Pig would even be easier. <coughs> I mean, I imagine he probably has a reduxed fight. Oh, true. Fuck. Yeah, everyone's gonna have. There might even be people who didn't have fights that will have fights. Like, Blue, the Blue Thief. Oh, fuck. You're gonna have to fight your funny best friend? Yep. Could you have not picked him up, by the way? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ow. At least I don't think so, but he has such a integral part of the story, I don't think it would have been a... They probably like, kept yelling at you until like, you picked him up. Yeah. yeah. With, um... What do you call it? Uh, I don't remember. It was, be, because he was an item in the inventory, I was like, oh, maybe that doesn't really matter. Izzy, do you remember where we picked up the 8-ball? Uh, here, I believe. Okay. It's in the room right next to where... Uh, Zig... Or, I had a charge. Yeah, where Zig was. Look at you! <laughs> Because it was the first, quote unquote, gaster looking dude. The oh, first spirit. right, yeah. And right, you were I just like, haha, ha, funny homestuck. <laughs> yeah. And, like, I mean, none of us understand that reference, but. Yeah. I yeah. made it the thumbnail. Yeah. There's, uh, the character. There's eight, eight balls are significant in homestuck. That's really all there gotcha. is to it. <laughs> Fair enough. The, a, lot of, a lot of homestuck involves. Uh, well, not a lot, but particular characters and events involve a lot of luck, so like having something that can predict the future is uh, significant in that series. Mm -hmm. or, or not predict the future in that case, honestly. Because they're in it. Could you like step into that while it's going to your right to grab some more and then duck out? I would take damage. Yeah. Oh, which makes you lose your charge, right? Yes. Damn. Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Have you had enough? You move like crazy, I'll give you that. Now get out of my sight! Oh, we'll try him again in the next episode. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hot damn. There's a save up. Hey.